Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode for math. Uh, today we have 6.2, uh, circumference of a circle. Uh, today we're going to be doing a very special activity. I would like you to go find a roll of tape in your house. Doesn't matter what size the roll of tape is. I would like you to go find the roll of tape. We're going to pause the video. You can go find your roll of tape uh, and then come back and we're going to do a little activity. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want you to take your roll of tape and we're going to trace that roll of tape on a piece of paper. Now, we have our circle. So remember yesterday, we looked at the diameter of a circle. So think back, what is diameter? Diameter is the line that passes through the center of the circle from side to side. So I have my center of the circle and I want to go through the biggest part of the circle, the longest part with the ruler. So that is my diameter of my tape. Okay, so we can measure that. So my tape diameter is 10 centimeters. So I'm just going to label that 10 centimeters. Now, yesterday, we can remember that we were looking at that diameter and diameter for radius is half of the diameter. So if we want to find the radius, which is from that point to any spot on the circle, the radius, it is going to be half the diameter. So remember our formula for radius, R is equal to D over two. So I'm just going to work through that formula really quickly. So R is equal to 10 centimeters divided by two. So 10 divided by two is five. R is equal to five centimeters. So I'm gonna write in my radius, five centimeters. So remember, always label the value that you're working through. So my diameter is equal to 10 centimeters. And my radius is five centimeters. Now what I would like you to do is I would like you to complete that for your circle. I want you to find the diameter of your circle and the radius of your circle. So go do that and then we're going to come back and share it. Okay. Thank you for sharing your diameter of your circle. Uh, now what we want to do is I want you to get your tape roll and on your tape roll you can see the last place where it was cut. I want you to mark that with a pencil. I'm just going to roughly mark that with chalk. You can mark it with a marker if it sticks a little bit better. Try to mark it. If it doesn't work, try to mark it on the cardboard on the side of the tape. Now what I want to do is I would like to take the tape off up to that point. And when I reach that point, I am going to rip the tape. Now, why we're doing this is because this is going to be the circumference of the circle. So that means that this should go completely around that circle that we just drew. So today we're looking at the circumference of a circle. We have an equation here to find the circumference of the circle. The circumference is equal to two pi r. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this piece of tape on the chalkboard and we are going to check with the tape after to see if we were approximate. So remember the tape, I ripped it so it won't be exact, but it should be pretty close to our answer for our circumference. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the entire circle. So that's why we used a piece of tape to measure the entire distance around the circle. So, so far we have the diameter of the circle, which goes through the middle of the circle to measure the width of the circle. We have the radius to measure from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. And now we have the circumference of the circle, which measures the whole distance around the outside of the circle. So that should measure the entire distance of the circle. So we're going to check that after, after we complete the equation. So circumference is equal to two, and then we have this, this right here. So 
So this is new. This is pi. So pi is equal to 3.14. Now, pi is an irrational number, so it continues on forever. Uh, but we are only going to use the digits 3.14 just to make it simple for us. Uh, so we're going to write pi. So you can write pi. But remember that it is 3.14. So if you want to, you could write 2 times 3.14, just in small brackets above pi, just for you to remember what you're doing. And then we need the radius. So we found the radius of our circle by doing the diameter and then splitting the diameter in half and finding that radius. So our radius of our, my circle is 5 centimeters. You're going to want to complete the radius of your circle at home that you did with your piece of uh, tape. So my radius is 5 centimeters. Remember, it's the shorter one from the center of the circle just to the edge. Okay, now I have this equation. We're going to need to use a calculator because we are multiplying with decimal numbers. So what I would like you to punch into your calculator uh, is this is very important. We want to start at the beginning of the equation and work to the end. So we're going to start by multiplying 2 times pi and then we're going to multiply the 5 centimeter to get our answer. So since I'm multiplying this here, I know that 2 times 5 is going to equal 10. So that I know that I'm going to end up with 30. 1.4 centimeters as the circumference of my circle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check that with our ruler. And you can see I'm just slightly off. I am just slightly off. Um, so it's very close. We're very close to 30 centimeters. 30 centimeters would be about here. You can see that it's cut my tape a little bit weird, so that's part of the problem. But you can see the example of how uh, you can actually use the roll of tape to go around the edge to get 31.4 centimeters. Now, keep in mind that when you're tracing your circle of tape, especially when I'm tracing it with chalk, I'm making it slightly bigger because the chalk is going to be wider than the tape around the circumference of this circle. This is just an example to show you that you can get an estimation uh, by taking that piece of tape and writing it down. But what we're looking for is we're looking for the math. This was just a quick example to show you that you could use a real life example to see the distance around the circle. Now the circumference of the circle is three times the diameter of the circle. So. If I were to multiply the diameter by 3, I would say that's 30 centimeters, and I would end up with an answer very close to 31.4 centimeters. Uh, since we used pi, that's why we got a decimal. So thanks for watching this episode. If you have any questions, uh, we can answer them on Teams for you. Uh, please uh, ask any questions you might have about the circumference of the circle, diameter, or radius so far. Thanks for watching.